Right now, as you are watching this tutorial, hybrid crime is rapidly evolving as the new 21st century threat, tearing away at the fabric of American communities with uncertainty and persistent danger. And if law enforcement leaders at every level of your agency fail to have 21st century solutions or acting like sycophants, shifting the blame on others, hybrid criminal actors are taking notice by recreating their strategies to strike again. From lesson one, you learned about discovering your leadership style. In lesson two, you learned about how to develop key performance indicators to inspire people to new actions. In this tutorial, you will learn how to stand up like a leader who is in control of the facts and responses about managing your agency's goals to stay ahead of the threat of hybrid crime with competent character. In this learn and lead tutorial, I want to share with you a system called CompStat Analytics, four golden principles for fighting crime. Sun Tzu, perhaps the most revered military strategist and philosophers, in his wisdom now translated into business strategies, gives us context about winning battles. The supreme art of war is breaking the opponent's resistance without fighting. If you know the opponent and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. Now, unlike conventional or unconventional warfare, law enforcement still is a public service that must humanely protect life, liberty, and property. However, we cannot allow our own actions to diminish the public's reliance and trust in a law enforcement agency that has cutting-edge operational readiness to legally and assertively combat the trends of hybrid crime. Hybrid crime involves any individual or group who commits criminal activities, redefine their identities and operations on a moment's notice. It thrives on attacking vulnerable targets while at the same time calculating and avoiding the strength of law enforcement responses and prosecution. Now that we know who are the actors and the activities, let's examine the strengths for breaking their resistance with a strategic advantage. Jack Maple, the pioneer of the system known as CompStat, recognized these type of crime patterns in the tenure of his policing career. Called by the New York Magazine as perhaps the most creative cop in history, in its early stages of development, Maple acronym CompStat for being a computer-generated or comparative statistics system in which he compiled and stored data. Taking on an alarming rate of crime in the massive transit system and later citywide boroughs, Maple used a simple push pen and paper map system called Charts of the Future to track and predict crime with great success. Over time, the definition has since evolved into being a performance management system that is used to reduce crime and achieve other law enforcement goals. Recognized as an innovation in government by the Harvard Kennedy School of Government, today many major law enforcement agencies have modeled Maple's revolution of CompStat as a way for getting things done with accountability. In a moment, I'm going to share with you Maple's four golden principles putting the bad guys out of business. But please allow me to share with you my own professional experiences in dealing with CompStat. After intensive study of CompStat, admittedly also watching my favorite TV series, The Wire, which highlighted CompStat in several episodes and later articulating the concept as sound public policy. In 2009, I was commissioned to custom design, train all personnel, and roll out CompStat into the sheriff's office with a specific focus on county jail operations. For over 24 years, this county jail, one of the largest in the southeast with up to 3,900 inmates, faced scrutiny over constitutional deprivations, 
leading to numerous federal consent decree orders. As cited in the March 2011 edition of Law and Order magazine, the county jail under consent decree by the federal government involving the rights and living conditions of inmates in 15 specific areas, changed for the better in just nine months. Comstad was now earning the praise from the federal court monitor who was losing hope for any significant progress. In his reports to the federal court judge, he began issuing unprecedented and consistent 95% plus compliance ratings in jail operations. Not only were county government officials elated with the new sense of accountability, the National Institute of Corrections, in a site visit, were most impressed with the sustainable transformations. And even NYPD detectives who were visiting the jail gave high praises for the system that was pioneered from their own jurisdiction. Now, let's discover how forward-thinking criminal justice leaders just like you can also use Jack Maple's four golden principles, not only to gauge accountable actions, but to stay ahead of the threat of emerging hybrid crime. We begin with the first and most important principle of CompStat as timely and accurate intelligence. There is no component more important than intelligence superiority. Relevant internal information about operations and external factors about crime that has been collected, analyzed, and disseminated to the right people for making sound decisions and planning future courses of action. The second principle of CompStat is rapid deployment. Hybrid crime is happening at a moment's notice, and your responses must have a sense of readiness to assertively and legally mitigate the threat. And believe it or not, the hybrid actors have their own sources of intelligence to determine your responses. However, the savvy commander has studied every angle to strategically deploy, patrol, investigative, tactical, or community relations units equipped with every resource available to them to project direct and decisive action. The third principle of CompStat is effective tactics. In defining tactics, we are not just talking about special weapons or crafty maneuvers. Tactics in my professional assessment means mastering the rules of law to justify the end result with assertive strategies that not only reduce shock to the community conscious, but get things done with minimal loss to life, liberty, and property. Tactics that are documented and supported by the courts without challenge. Yes, that's right. Criminal cases so tightly prepared that it will even make the most crafty hybrid actor convince his well-paid attorney they might want to take a plea deal on your case. And the fourth principle of CompStat is relentless follow-up and assessment. When you step up to the podium at the crime control meeting with top brass, this is not the time for half-truths and total nonsense about results. Having co-chaired hundreds of CompStat control meetings, within the law and order article, I was asked about how we gauged accountability. Commanders can't come to a podium at a CompStat meeting and say they didn't do anything about a problem. They'll get chewed out, but we don't turn the meetings into a humiliation session. We train our officers to solve problems or have answers. My best advice when you are at that podium, develop some tough skin and be in control of the facts about day-to-day operations. Whether the mission is ongoing or complete, you're also communicating to every level of the agency with competence and a real-time view of what is working and what is not working. A time where other divisions can also cue in to collaborate in fighting crime with precision. It also gives top brass a true assessment about who is making sound decisions, which also helps build a pipeline of leadership with inside of your agency. Now, outside of my own experiences, here is why I firmly believe that CompStat is the intelligence-led policing model of the future. 
according to a publication by the Police Executive Research Forum on the origins, evolution, and future of CompStat in law enforcement agencies. CompStat encourages information sharing, facilitating the flow of information between divisions and from the top down, enabling leaders to have a more holistic view of the entire organization. Decision making, moving away from an executive bureaucracy where division commanders are provided with greater authority in their divisions. Organizational culture, the agency becomes more creative, flexible, and better equipped to manage risk. In summary, we have discussed CompStat analytics under four golden principles to fight crime. The most important takeaway value that I can offer you about CompStat is it must be a clear and purposeful strategy. And while I fully support the system holding a high premium on robust operational accountability, it must be executed with the highest levels of objectivity. Thanks for watching. To earn one post credit hour, please download the professional study manual and mobile webinar at criminaljusticelearning.online. When you have completed 100% of the course, please notify us through email to receive your certificate and course credit according to your state's post rules. Please give us a thumbs up, like and share our best in class courses with others to learn, lead, and make a difference in the criminal justice profession.